What do I want in a manager? What do I want? That is our building. And we sell paper. I will run this branch or I will destroy this branch. Who am I? Nothing to fear. I am just a 44 year old guy with a paper route. Bear my child. It makes me think about something that my grandfather used to say, which is that sometimes the hand that jumps out of the grave and grabs you around the throat, that, that is the hand that you want on the wheel. My old boss, Ed Truck, has died. Ed was decapitated. We have lost a member of our family. There is something wrong with everybody in here. We need to assemble the five families. Finally put this whole thing behind us? No. Oh my god. Uh, it is no secret that Michael Scott Paper has siphoned off a large chunk of our core business. I say we fill Michael's office with bees. How could you do this to me, Michael? Only Michael had children. I don't care if Ryan murdered his entire family. He is like a son to me. Ryan and I have been meeting up to work on our diabolical plot against Jim. You threatening me? Threatening you? No. So I want guidance. I want leadership. My favorite branch. Watch your back, Tim. We made a terrible mistake here. Oh my god. Dwight, you should be running this office. Would you like to do the change from last week? Yes. Why him? Don't lie. Get the window. Is this Jan? Who is this? This is Dwight Schrute. I am calling about an extremely sensitive matter. You should talk to Michael and he'll talk to me and that way we don't have to speak to each other. It's about Michael. I could save the branch. Really? I want the branch. I've had a very interesting conversation with one of your employees. What? What was I thinking? That he could turn Jan against me? I just got off the phone with Jan. And she said that you should be expecting a call later from corporate? I guess that means that you are going to be acting manager of Dunder Mifflin Scranton. I just want to say to the few of you who will remain under my employ that I intend to lead you into the black with ferocity. It's really happening. Yes. We can make a difference here. I will make a difference here. But you can be in charge of the women. I know, Dwight, I know, I know, I know. You know what? Jan called me about your little meeting. No. How dare you? How dare you, Dwight? Please. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't fire you right here on the spot. I'm excellent sales numbers. Not good enough. I'll do anything. Please, I'll do your laundry for a month, for a year. I have a laundry machine. What can I do? What can I do? Here's how I'm going to help out from now on. I'm going to not care, and I'm going to sit around quietly waiting for Andy's inevitable demise. Andy, don't make us sell this stupid thing. Oh, no, 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 no. This is Dwight's meeting. Thank you. I just wanted to the... pop in and get your opinions on ties and tie clips. Which combo do you think Robert's going to like more? Is this really the best use of our collective time? OK, I'm sorry to hijack your meeting, D-Dub Dog. Had to pull rank. Hello, oh, Andy. Excellent tie. Andy, can you inspire? Take a look at where you are. Those superstores are terrified of us. Andy, nobody really expects you to go through with this. You once put me on a list of the losers in the office. Well, this loser just got your biggest client to give him all their business. Andrew, what do we have to do to get rid of you? I will not be blackmailed by some ineffectual, privileged defeat. Do you don't even know my real name? I'm the lizard king. <laughs> There's something about an underdog that really inspires the unexceptional. Pam may be about to give birth, and if I understand anything about the cycle of life, that means somebody dies. Time to get my affairs in order. People disappear in the pink place. If you really want someone, go get them.
got a treat for you. Oh! She was once my girl, and she is your girl now. Dead man walking. This is my pledge to you. I will find her, and I will bring her to you. And as God is my witness, she shall bear your fruit. You want to learn a really impressive second language? Try Dothraki. Win over any man in my guild. Dothraki is the native tongue of the nomadic, warmongering horse lords of Essos, as featured in the superb home box office series Game of Thrones. It has a lot of nudity, which I fast forward through to get to the chopped off heads.